Hello YouTube, this is Gameplay Connery and uh, today we'll be seeing a tutorial on how we can extract models from Counter-Strike Source or any other Valve games which is in the same format of course. Um, to start off you need uh, two tools. One is called uh, Canon Folders uh, um, Canon Folders uh, Half-Life 2 tools and uh, the tool you need is MDL the compiler studio compiler works too but it's a uh, it's kind of a pain in the arse uh, if you consider it has so many bugs so I suggest MDLD compiler to start from so after you start up MDLD compiler you have to put it on your uh, uh, Counter-Strike uh, source folder and uh, make sure you put it uh, correctly so this is uh, actually my um, installation folder I don't have the original version as you can see I have a pirated copy of just the DVD for this tutorial purpose and uh, it's in uh, C strike models weapons eagle.mdl um, you can see there are a lot of weapons here so uh, but I want to just start with a simple tutorial so it's uh, deagle which I'm gonna choose and once again this is the location program files counter strike C strike models weapons and the weapons you can see deagle.mdl and I'm gonna choose it this is the model we want to extract there should be uh, your preferences in there so I suggest you just um, extract wherever you want it so I'm gonna choose uh, a folder called tutorial on my desktop and I'm gonna extract it and um, make sure that these two are checked and click extract and you can see the models has been extracted here uh, we have some SMD files and uh, I'll tell you how we can open SMD files and import it into um, 3ds max so smd is nothing but a uh, half-life 2 uh, model files i guess uh, steam model files i'm not sure well uh, th uh, this is your uh, uh, model files and uh, um, you need a software called uh, milkshape we can always go to google and uh, find a free uh, uh, 30 days version i guess and uh, let's see um, milkshape is the name and you can see uh, you can download it from the official website um, and also it's if you wanna pay for it you can go ahead and do that but uh, I guess there's always a trial you can try or also you can use it on uh, you can use uh, uh, the uh, 3ds max input f uh, plugin to directly import the SMD files, there is a plugin there uh, on the w on the website where you can see the uh, um, Canon folders f uh, website itself. You can see there's this folder called 3ds Max Tools. You can use this tool um, to find the uh, importer. You can see there are versions for Max 9, Max 2, 2010, 2012 older versions of Max so you can use any one of these uh, importers according to your 3ds Max or you can always go for the easy way which is Milkshape which I'm gonna show you how open Milkshape and uh, right click import click off life ASMD and uh, choose Deagle reference to SMD this is what I extracted from uh, Canon folders um, this is nothing but the um, model file you can see there's a deagle reference which is the model of a deagle um, this is draw I guess this is an animation and uh, you can see hand reference that is nothing but two pair of hands and uh, uh, idle I think it's an animation reload is an animation I guess uh, shoot one shoot two and some model files I'm not sure what these files are but the file which we need is deagle reference dot smd whenever you extract a model file from counter strike source or a modification you download for it it will be like this deagle reference ak47 reference player reference like that so it's named as reference and also it's a bit bigger than comparing to the other files except uh, the hand file which is bigger because it's a bigger model than deagle so click on the uh, reference file and uh, um, make sure if you wanna see the skeletons uh, if you wanna you know, if you wanna see the triangles or you can choose between these options and click OK and uh, according to your preferences the model will start uh, importing into the uh, milk shape uh, wait for it to uh, import the files and meanwhile while it gets imported uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna show how you can uh, basically get the textures uh, 
so to speak uh, the textures for these are uh, under um, under folder counter strike and under C strike and uh, materials and also um, under materials I guess it's in models and then it, it's weapons and under weapons folder V models and under V model you have to choose the uh, weapon I chose the deagle before so it's best deagle you can see these are the uh, uh, locations it's uh, the um, second file deagle skin one you can see it's a reference file uh, so I guess it's uh, just um, a three layer uh, you can see yes I'm right so it's just a layer file so the actual texture is deagle skin that one uh, just click on that and uh, file export it's most probably TGI but uh, I suggest if, it, if I'm just doing this for the uh, tutorial sake and if you want to extract it as it is I suggest TGI is a good format and it's it's heavy without any quality loss so. uh, but I'm, I'm gonna use this for PNG to make the tutorial a bit faster sometimes my 2ds max scratches if I export TGI files I don't know why but uh, I have to write them so I'm just gonna name it Deagle that PNG I'll, uh, Make sure it did not import. I guess I uh, just missed something, so I'm just gonna um, import and uh, click on FMSMD and go to choose this. Um, yes, I need all this to take, and you can see the uh, mod has been imported. Um, the blue are the animations, and the uh, white is actually the model. Uh, you don't have to do anything in um, milk shape, so you don't have to worry. But uh, I suggest uh, you export this as uh, file export and export it as a uh, 3ds or a 3ds file and choose the desktop and uh, the folder and just name it uh, deagle.3ds so now you have a file to input on your 3ds max and it is uh, just go to uh, 3ds max import and uh, choose the uh, deagle.3ds so if you want a, a quick look on how I got this 3ds file I got it via using Milkshape and in Milkshape I used uh, to import SMD files to get the SMD files you need Canon Folders MDLD compiler and to get the MDL file it's in your game installation folder so this is uh, just a quick cap and uh, you see it's uh, deagle.3ds I'm just gonna click it this merge its default question I don't wanna match the learning it, it's just an anima animation package so just click yes and uh, you see the model has been imported and only the model has been imported but there is an animation running on but I don't want to care about it because uh, this is what I want actually so the model has been imported here but it's not skinned so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna skin the uh, uh, model let's see it's uh, on uh, my desktop the uh, PNG you see it's the texture file I'm gonna drag and drop it into my 3ds folder you see um, the model has been uh, skinned now. Uh, it's fully skinned 3D. Yep, it's just one skin. So uh, I'm gonna ch check a render of it. Yes, it's perfectly skinned. So this is one of the easiest ways just you can use to import the uh, models. And also, uh, after you're done with it, uh, you can always check the quality of your performance by clicking the render setup and uh, choose it and just ignore it if you don't want to do this so uh, see the model has been imported and uh, um, this is how you import files from uh, um, Valve games I'm not sure if this is going to work with uh, Team Fortress 2 it might not and I cannot be responsible if it's not working with Team Fortress 2 because I see a bunch of complaints from users saying that it did not work for Team Fortress 2 so if that's the case uh, you have to find a complicated tutorial to extract the files from Team Fortress or if you want the dirty, do dirty job to be handled by me let me know on a comment like you did before and uh, I'll try to make some time to extract the uh, models from that game. Also coming up I'll uh, show some people on how they can get models from Borderlands 2. You see they have the game installed, purchased and installed from Steam. And uh, if you want a tutorial on Borderlands 2 I can do that. And also I'm researching on Stalker so um, that tutorial is coming up as well as Grand Theft Auto 4 I don't know why but I just missed that game wholly so um, I'll, I'll 
I'll get my time for those but now uh, if you have questions regarding anything on this one um, don't hesitate to leave me a comment and also if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you don't give it a thumb down whatever the response is I just love you guys so um, that is it guys I hope this tutorial helped you and uh, I'll put up the link for all these uh, and um, perhaps you might find this tutorial useful as a Skyrim one um, thank you for listening to me um, subscribe and now uh, you'll see more good content